I, I just remember a, a, a sound bite from MS Dhoni when he stepped down from the ODI captaincy at the start of 2017. He said that I think that this Indian team under Virat Kohli has the potential to be one of the greats of world cricket. Like you had the great teams of the West Indies and Australia in the past, this team under Kohli has that capability. Do you think that now, after winning the Test Series in Australia and the ODI Series uh, in New Zealand, that for that to happen, the World Cup is a box waiting to be ticked? Yeah, I think in one-day format, there's no bigger tournament than the World Cup. You know, for, uh, for the Indian team, the way they played over the last one year, especially you mentioned about the Test Series win in Australia, irrespective of uh, how good or strong the Australian team is, beating Australia in Australia is always going to be a very, very challenging achievement, which this Indian team has done. And what's exciting, and I totally uh, agree with what MS Dhoni has uh, said, is they are a complete side. It's not only the batting department, but what really is exciting is the bowling department. They've got bowlers, especially fast bowlers, uh, which is which is a, a matter of pride uh, being from India. You've got fast bowlers, you've got resources in the bowling department who can not only restrict their flow of runs, but pick wickets and challenge the batsmen and make the batsmen look very uncomfortable uh, at the crease. So I, I believe that the, the Indian team is speaking at the right time and the win in Australia in the Test Series followed by by ODI series and the way they played in New Zealand. You know, we just talk about Australia. New Zealand is a very underrated side, but it's a very, very talented side. And beating New Zealand the way they did in 4-1 in the one-day series shows that this Indian team has got the potential to be world beaters. So if they win uh, the World Cup, I think they will tick all the boxes. At the moment, they've done well in, in, in Test Match Cricket and also in all the one-day uh, tournaments they played so far. I can't uh, forget the way they played. South Africa in the ODI formats where they demolish the South African team in their own backyard. So I think winning the World Cup will be icing on the cake for Virat Kohli and his men. Okay, you mentioned Virat Kohli because a lot of that, uh, the self-belief in the Indian team comes because of the swagger, if I could say so, of Virat Kohli. Now, you played a lot of cricket with Sachin Tendulkar and when Sachin retired at the end of 2013, a lot of people felt that uh, the records he set when he, when he retired were never going to be broken. But five, six years later, here is Virat Kohli just single-handedly demolishing every record which uh, Sachin had set on his way to demolishing them. Just 10 short of Tendulkar in, in, uh, in ODIs uh, yeah. as well. So clearly it, it all comes from him because he's got this rare ability about him that he, he's an explosive character in his, in his own way. But this passion for winning every game, every moment is rubbing off on the team. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, that's a legacy which uh, Virat Kohli will leave. You know, you mentioned about Sachin. See, Sachin was an inspiration for the entire generation, including players like me got inspired by the way Sachin conducted himself on and off the field, the way he took a lot of pride playing for the country, scoring tons and tons of runs and, and being known as a match winner and consistently winning matches and performing for his team over 24 years is never easy. Virat Kohli, very similar to Sachin, he's a trendsetter and he's a role model to this generation of uh, cricketers, not only Indian cricketers, to world cricket, you know, and young aspiring cricketers, budding cricketers always look forward and try to idolize Virat Kohli. Mm. Now, both of them are a little different uh, as personalities are concerned and uh, Sachin is more calm and uh, reserved, whereas Virat is more aggressive and emotional. But I think what Virat Kohli has done uh, and he's focused a lot on an important aspect which is very, very critical if you have to be a world beater as an individual player and as a team, which is focus on fitness. And when a fit team takes on the team, takes on the opposition, they always have that edge. It used to be the same when uh, Australia under Steve Waugh, under Ricky Ponting, they were the fittest side in world cricket at that time. So Virat Kohli sets an example and it rubbed on all the other players and that's why I think India will probably be the fittest team in world cricket at the moment. The fielding level has gone really, really high uh, and all this one percentage will help the team uh, to do well in uh, tough or you know, in pressure situation. So Virat Kohli is a trendsetter and Virat Kohli is a role model for the entire generation of uh, uh, Indian cricketers and the world cricketers.